Okie dokie. Second version of this problem, or second example. If you need more of a breakdown, please visit the other example, because this one I will do a little faster. So they ask us to estimate the instantaneous rate of change after two weeks. So that's just a fancy way of asking us, find the slope when t equals 2. We pick a point left, a t value to the left, and a t value to the right of 2. We're going to plug in these t values into the function s. We will get our first s value. We will get our second s value by plugging in 2.1. So once we get these two corresponding s values, we will find the slope between these two points by doing s2 minus s1 over, I'm sorry, this should be a t2. Why didn't y'all say anything? <laughs> All right. uh, t2 minus t1. So uh, let's plug in some values. We're going to plug in 1.9 into this function first. 3,000 minus 2750, maybe, let's see, over 0.2 t plus 1, so 0 0.2 times 1.9 plus 1, 0.2 times 1.9 plus 1, close parentheses, we raise it to the fourth power, yep, okie doke, so we get 2241.74, 20, let me use a different color, 2241.74. Double check. 2241. All right. Uh, so then we'll plug in the other t value, 2.1. So I'll just replace 1.9 with 2.1. We get 2323.64. 2323.64. Twenty-three, so now we will plug these values in to our slope formula. Basically, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. In this case, s's and t's are our y's and x's, respectively. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, this should be a 3, and this should be a 2241.74. And we're dividing by 2.1 minus 1.9. And let's give it a shot. So, we need 2241.74. All right. Uh, 2241.74, kind of typing backwards here. So we'll have 2323.64. So that is our S2 minus S1, and we are dividing this by 2.1 minus 1.9. 409.5, a nice value. 409.5 is the rate of change or the slope between 1.9 and 2.1 which is a great estimate for the slope at 2. So 409, we see increasing at a rate of 409. Break out the eraser, and D is our best answer.